Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 today with another team adventure. Now, for this one, we are driving A-class cars. However, everything had to be fitted with sport tyres, which is uh, say a little bit different. A little bit different for these. Rally or race tyres are basically, I must say, almost entirely what you go for when it comes to A-class so the builds are likely to be a little bit different here because at the end of the day this is still going to be a normal adventure as in we're still going to be doing tarmac and dirt races some cars are not going to like the dirt at all my volvo i'm hoping is going to be a little bit better when it comes to the dirt it's all wheel drive some of the cars running in this are not and i have got rally suspension my hope is the rally suspension might be a little bit wallowy through some of these corners here uh, but I'm hoping it might do me better when a lot of cars are going to be specialist focused on tarmac, knowing that, uh, well, that's where we're going to be stronger almost. I do have some things going for me in the Volvo. I have 560 horsepower from a V8 engine that I swapped into it. I've never really driven this car before, and I'm kind of hoping it'll be good. I like the Volvo. It's actually it's never really worked in previous Forza games, and I'm kind of hoping that I might be able to make a V60 work here. Uh, Eva's going to have a go at the inside. The downside with the V60 is to get all this power, it's still quite heavy. It's, it's very, well, I say it's very heavy. It's, I think, the heaviest car in the field at 3,800 pounds. So there is a fair amount of Volvo to, you know, get around the circuits. Uh, top speed, I mean, I'm hoping it's not going to be terrible here. Doesn't seem too bad. Uh, we're to the outside of the Evo, not going to look through there. Might duck underneath it, though, through turn one. I mean, <laughs> there was a little, there was a little, a little trading of paint went on there. Sadly, things are not going so well for Red. We've got good scores for Red Team towards the top of the... Uh, Field. Unfortunately, far too many red cars for the... Bloody hell, there's a lot of blue cars I've got to now try and fend off. This isn't great. Not for a, not for a V6. I'm not sure I'm going to quite have the cars to fend off everybody here. <laughs> We've got a little bit of a gap. There is a, sm oh, a smidge bit of a gap. I have got race brakes on this car. I forgo... I'm, I foregoed? Sure, we'll go with that. Some weight reduction in the hope of power. I don't know whether it was a good idea or not. I kind of figured like the weight reduction I could have got in with the PI might not have done all that much and I just sort of chucked power at the problem I'm not as quick as the Ferrari or the Ford I don't think not around here now I might be better than them off-road I certainly know the Ford's still rear-wheel drive so we're all going to be in the same problem in terms of tires no one's really going to have any grip for the dirt stuff uh, so we are all going to have a similar amount of problems to to deal ooh, to deal with there uh, but yeah drive lines might play a big part I suspect there's a few have been left rear wheel drive in the hope of making the most of these again you make the most of the tarmac stages basically um, the leader i think it was a little classic porsche if i remember correctly uh, and those two, like there's a lot of classic cars i do feel very out of place in the volvo so ahead of me is a classic porsche uh was it 906 908 i can't remember now a maserati 8ctf behind me is a Group A touring car, and behind that is a 250LM, so, <laughs> you know, my modern Volvo doesn't really fit in with all of this, and the bloody Sierra, so the Sierra outturns me, and outhandles me, basically, that's going to be fun to deal with, I am better on the dirt, well, I will be better on the dirt, sure, uh, oh, come on, Volvo, come on, <laughs> it's fine, we're going to be a little wide through there, Right, I just I don't even have anything I can fight with that Sierra. Like I can't fight with the Sierra in any way here. I might just have the traction out of the corner, but even if I hold it there, even if I have enough straight line speed to hold it alongside, it's always going to be on the inside anyway. I think it might even be better off just focus, try and fend off the uh, Ferrari for the remainder of this race. I don't know. Does the camera feel quite low? Have I got the wrong camera angle? Maybe I've pressed a button and check. I'm feeling like I'm not really seeing over the back of the Volvo here. Uh, I don't know. I think that's normally the angle I drive. Just the camera. Maybe the camera position is a bit funky on this car. Who knows? Apparently the painting went a bit wonky on the bloody <laughs> bumper. Ignore that. Don't worry about that at all. Uh, right. One more lap to go. And I need a nice, clean lap. The Ferrari's a little too far back to try anything unless I make a silly mistake. We're hoping for a minimal 
silly mistake run. I'm actually not too disappointed with this Volvo, all things considered. Um, that Ferrari is so quick through the corners. Christ, you saw how far away we were as we came around that turn one. That Ferrari is so good in the corners. Am I going to be able to defend it off? That is the question here. It might be too far back to really be able to have a dive. That's what I'm kind of hoping. The Volvo is big, the Volvo is heavy, it's not easily moved. So the Ferrari is going to have to try go. Yeah, I'm just going to cover the inside. You know, I'm not going to make life easy for the uh, 250 LM. We will run away now, we're on the straight. Uh, it's not going to go well for Red Team in terms of points. Not at all. Uh, however, I should at least get a fourth place. It's not a terrible showing. Not a terrible showing at all from the Volvo. Uh, yeah, actually quite pleased with that. The Maserati gets a second. You know, we did okay. It just wasn't, wasn't enough points. Too many cars further down the order. Not, not quite scoring enough for us. So, we head next to the Ashbrook Loop Scramble. Now, we don't tend to run this circuit all that often. It's an interesting little bit of a weird... I say a bit of a weird track. Uh, basically, while yes, it is technically an off-road circuit, crazy, crazy power is basically what you want. I, I mean, I don't really know. I, I think my car will be okay here. Um, the dirt section isn't terrible, although if your car is too out of control, you may come undone. Like, you may well make mistakes on the dirt section. We'll have to see how it goes. I'm curious to know what the rear-wheel drive cars are going to do here. Uh, I don't think there are many, if I'm honest. I think most are going to have been converted, or, like mine, started uh, as all-wheel drive. We are pretty good off the line. That's a helpful thing to know. Uh, the Porsche is buried in the pack, whichever the classic one was. How are we going to do up the hill? So I have... Oh, okay, I might above the teammate. Oh, the leading Evo made things way worse. Go, Ninetales. Go, 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 go with that Rover of way more speed than any of us. <laughs> it's a Rover of wiggliness. That's what that was. That was a wiggly Rover if ever I did see one. Uh, yeah, I might have kind of caused my teammate some trouble there. Um... I apologise to Carlton for pushing him a smidge wide. Nowhere near as much trouble as the Evo caused theirs. Uh, <laughs> that was a brush of the wall. That wall that kills all of your momentum. Yep, that'll that'll happen. Oh, careful now over the crest. I can't imagine that Rover is having any fun here. Uh, <laughs> that thing is going to be a bloody death trap around here. Can't imagine the Maserati is going to enjoy this either. Now, the Maserati is, I'm pretty sure, a faster car than me uh, in general. But I might have... I might be the most stable car off-road. That's kind of what I'm going for here. If I've got the most stable car off-road, I do tend, I know I do tend to go for uh, off-road focused cars. I tend to, if I, if I get a good, good off-road focused car, it tends to still be quite good on the tarmac. So, it has worked well in the past, but certainly my Volvo looks good on that dirt section. I think I might have enough power to see this through. Now, we know what's about to happen. Oh, there's a little bit of screen breaking going on. I was going to give Ninetales acres of space. Just let the rover do its thing. There you go. <laughs> that thing is that. That's going to have way more power. I mean, I'm 500 and... I said 560 horsepower. That's quite a lot more than a lot of my very quick A-class cars have. And that thing is absolutely got... I'd imagine it's 1500. Probably. Uh, <laughs> man, that's probably the VTOL. We get back past it as soon as we get on the dirt. Because I actually do have traction. The Volvo's not terrible out here, in all honesty. The Volvo is pretty well behaved. There's a lot of stuff. I'm not the only one not sliding out towards the wall in all of that. The big question for me is, can I stay far enough ahead of Nine Tails that when we have this run to the finish line... Like, at the moment, this system is working in that I, Nine Tails passes me up the hill, but I immediately repass on the dirt. And if I keep doing that, I think I'll win across the line. Because I think I can just be good enough on the dirt section to make up the lap time here. Uh, we've so far got a 1-2-3 for red team. Now, if we hold 1-2-3, it doesn't actually matter what blue team do. It's irrelevant. Um, they will not be able to beat us. But we've actually also got the Mercedes up in, in a sixth place. So that's some good, some good points. Uh, here comes all oh, the Rovers had a big wobble. The Rover might not even catch. We've got to be careful we don't fight each other too much back there and screw it up uh, for... Oh, for everything overall, you know, that would be bad. However, this time around, the SD1 didn't even get past. So, that is good news. 
That is good news. Now, the, far, the farthest up the field rear-wheel drive car I know of is in Pega with the... Actually, no, Ninetales is rear-wheel drive with the Rover. Ignore me entirely, because we saw on the launch, Ninetales doesn't get going either. <laughs> the launch of that Rover had, there's no way that's all-wheel drive. Uh, in fact, the way it's wiggling up the hill, there's no... You can't have that power in all-wheel drive in A-Class, I don't think. Not with sport tyres. The game just isn't going to let you... Uh, let you do that one. I'm kind of surprised it lets that rover have as much power as it does, if I'm honest with you. But, uh, <laughs> there we go. We're just having quite a nice... I mean, my car's good here. I'm really, really impressed with the Volvo, I have to say. The, the S... Uh, the S60, sorry, the V60. I like the car. Very, very nice car. I've always... I've never, never really got it working in a Forza game. Uh, it's never really worked in previous games. There have been attempts to make them run, but they've never ever been particularly competitive. So I thought I'd have a go with it here. It was a little bit of a funky class. Thought all-wheel drive from standard might help. And it's actually, yeah, really not too bad. I've got to be mindful of the Maserati. Here comes that SD1. Oh. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I was a little worried. I thought it might end up flying up the inside. Uh, and we kind of screwed ourselves over a little bit on the wall. We're going to try and fend off from the Maserati. Now, I think uh, Maserati is quicker through the through the tarmac corners. I just think I'm much, much more planted out here. This is where we can make our lap time. Just got to be careful I don't lose too much planting the wall for all of that. Maserati is all-wheel drive as well. Yeah, it's got more acceleration than I do. It's just, it's, it's a much, much lighter car than me. That Maserati is under £2,000, I believe. So... It's just the acceleration, even with all of my power, is not enough to counteract that. I don't know what we're going to see going up the hill. That might be fun times. Uh, we're going to have to defend a little bit into turn one. Make it difficult. I don't. I would not want to be on the outside there. We, there is space. I just wouldn't necessarily want to be on the outside there. Uh, <laughs> where is the SD1? It's too far back to do much. We're going to have to be mega, mega quick on the dirt if we're going to do this. Uh, the Maserati, I mean, this is still a good performance from the Volvo in terms of straight line speed. Here comes that SD1. Um, you know what? Just go for it. In fact, you might even end up compromising the uh, Maserati exactly the same as it did to me. Oh! <laughs> okay. May have been a little assistance from me, unintentionally, a smidge into that one. There's a lot of teammate friendly fire. <laughs> We can get away with this when we've got the field that we when we've got the field spread that we have, we can get away with a little bit of uh, oh bloody hell! I might have got a bit carried away through there, as did the Maserati. Uh, bloody hell! That rover, that rover is very very fast down the straights, uh, but not very controllable everywhere else. We are going to come out of the penultimate corner. It's the run to the line. The Maserati has got a very, very good run, and it won't beat me. I'm hoping the game doesn't screw us out of this one. It did. We ignore the game. I take victory with the Volvo uh, ahead of the Maserati. The Rover... Oh, I ended up down in fourth place, unfortunately. Uh, but was quite the entertaining show. The Mercedes, the 190E, uh, got into seventh place. Scored us some valuable points. In fact, we scored uh, tenth and eleventh as well, which is quite important. Uh, just, you know, an extra couple of hundred points is, is always nice. Um... Yeah, the Volvo, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, up next we head to the Greendale Club Circuit. This is a very different prospect to, well, the previous track. There is a long straight here, but there's a lot of kind of fast corners. Now, I, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be trying to get the SD1, for example, around here. It will be unbelievably fast down towards the start-finish line, but it's going to be a handful everywhere else. The the Porsche I would be worried about, we saw that was very, very quick at Bamber. It's now starting on pole. That's a horrible thing to have to try and deal with. Uh, so, I mean, rear-wheel drive cars, Alpine is still rear-wheel drive. They have very little PI to play with in the Alpine. So the Alpine's rear-wheel drive. The Rover is as well. The Rover is now starting to pick up speed, having got off the line. Uh, the... The 906 has either got incredible traction or is also all-wheel drive. I would expect all-wheel drive um, by the look of the launch. I might be going back to be rear gunner for third here. <laughs> that might be what we end up doing. Uh, Ninetales might actually be even more of a rear gunner in this one. Um, we might have... I think we do have the best off-road cars. There was nothing really challenging us in that previous, uh, previous race. 
However, to win the adventure, you can't just have off-road cars. The way I set these up is in such a way that you cannot just have specialist off-road cars because there are three tarmac races. You have to win three if you are going to take the adventure. So, what that means is we are going to need to win a tarmac round. Could this be the one that we could do it on? I don't know. I don't... Not, not sure. Ninetales is going to be absolutely shooting down the start-finish straight, but it's going to have to cling on. Uh, we are not as far back from these cars as I expected. Uh, perhaps. I do think I can't, I can't get close to the Porsche. Danger Man, I think, had a little incident coming out of the final corner on that lap, and it's perhaps a little slower down the straight. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with the competitiveness of of the V60 still. We'll see how it goes for the rest of this race, whether I'll change my tune by the end of it and start moaning about the car. That's always possible. Let's be honest, don't clip the wall. Okay, we clipped the wall, we didn't actually lose any speed. Don't hit the wall and lose all of the speed is generally, uh, generally a good thing. I think Ninetales actually doing a very good job of kind of... It's not... Well, I say it's, it's just being in that group can cause no end of trouble for some of them handling cars. Sloop's Porsche is bloody good. <laughs> that thing is way too fast around here. We just see the Rover pull out and moves up to fourth. Uh, it, it looks like if we win this is going to go, sadly, for further back. It's going to come down to further back positions than us. So if we get two, three, four, that's not necessarily enough. We need some more positions. We need like the 190E or something somewhere to be scoring a few more points. I've had a really, really bad lap in this. Ninetales is absolutely sideways everywhere with that rover. We're just kind of gradually falling back to our, I'd say, natural, natural seeming finishing position here of uh, kind of third or fourth. The right track, right track, we're okay. I mean, third or fourth is still, let's face it, that is some good points. I am concerned about Longbow's Ferrari. We saw how quick that thing was at Bamber. It might be a similar story. I think Ninetales is going to be too far back. It, mm, the rover may get to the inside. I think the rover might get to the inside of, of uh, Longbow, but will never stop or make the corner. So <laughs> I think we might now have a Ferrari for company before the, the end of this race. Yeah, the points are just slipping away from us here. Uh, we, need, we needed more. We needed more from further back, basically. It's... I don't think we can do it. Not without quite the turnaround of events. Now, that's not to say it's impossible, of course. You never give up. You never know who might end up missing a checkpoint. If the leader ran wide somewhere and did miss a checkpoint, that would probably give us the win. It does happen sometimes. Even when you have as big a lead as, as they are currently enjoying, it is still possible to uh, get in a little spot of bother. We've got to try and cling on for this podium. Can we do it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. The Ferrari is catching, but not quite as crazy quick as you might expect. We know we can pull quite a nice gap towards turn one here. Because we have got the straight line speed, although I'm struggling massively with understeer through there. Come on, Volvo. That's trouble for me. <laughs> it's just a little too brave, so we are going to have to probably be defendo for this lap. Now, I don't think the Ferrari is... Hmm, the, the Ferrari is better handling than me, but I do out-accelerate it, and I do out-straight-line speed it, which means overtaking is going to be more difficult. Probably not if I do that. However, the final corner is where it's going to want to look. It's going to want to try and get up the inside through here. I'm going to try and make sure it can't do that. Uh, we're going to just cover that inside line. It might let me slightly slow onto the straight. I'm not that fussed about it. I don't think the Ferrari can do it. I think it's, yeah, it's too far back. Uh, <laughs> we could defend... Touch scruffy from me on that final lap. Not my finest ever piece of driving, but it is going to be good enough for another podium in the V60. Can't match the Porsche on the tarmac. That's gone. Uh, can't really match the Maserati either. Uh, we could fend off really from the 250 LM. It was cut slowly catching. Uh, the Mad Rover would end up down in sixth place, but yeah, we just couldn't quite score the points in that one, sadly. But I'll take another podium for myself. So... We have a very, very different sort of dirt circuit next. This is the Tarnhaus at Scramble. Almost full dirt, while not quite as technical and nasty as the Ambleside Scramble. Still one of the more technically demanding dirt tracks. This should be a very good place for the Volvo. Now the concern 
<laughs> concern for me, or concern for our team, shall we say, the Rover won't work here. The Rover could get away on that previous circuit just by, it's almost the speed up the hill uh, would where that would work, and the dirt section, it's not too bad. Here, you get no respite. Here, you are constantly on the dirt, constantly cornering almost. So, we're going to find out what cars are like genuinely very good on the dirt. Well, I'm hoping things will work with the Volvo. I could be wrong, though. Uh, as I said, because this is a very different track to our previous dirt circuit. I have fairly big tyres on this. I think they're 275s all round, uh, which isn't too bad. In Forza terms, big tyres are better. Off-road, for any, any, any application, big tyres are better, basically. Um, so, yeah, we are going to hope that there are enough oh, red team cars doing well here that we can get some decent points. I think, like, trying to beat the... Hmm, trying to beat all the classic races. I very much do not feel like I should be in this field at the moment. 2 for VLM, Testarossa, 906. <laughs> 8CTF is not that far behind. It's a weird, a weird group of cars that we have stumbled upon. Oh, in this, I made a mess of the final corner, and there goes my chances, I think. And I turned into a smidge. Of, I turned in too soon. I was expecting more. Un I was kind of expecting understeer to drag me wide, and it didn't. Uh, oh, I might have got slightly underneath the sliding Maserati yeah this is bad news this is bad news for us oh I might I think we're going to let the Maserati go because uh, I think that's actually that stands a better chance of catching cars ahead than I do oh well, I'll let you go if you get to a good point go 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 <laughs> just lift off the throttle briefly there's no point fighting that um, too much and it's just, 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 as long as you don't slow me down through the corners uh, you just go Damn it. My, I was hoping my sort of composure in this would, would work. Apparently it's kind of the faster dirt sections where it comes into its own. Mm, I guess it's kind of built a little bit like that. I guess if I wanted it to be better at this circuit specifically, for example, you would uh, maybe take the weight out and have less power. Probably be way to go. Where is it? Yeah, the other dirt sections. The other tracks is always a funky one. It's a fun circuit to see what happens on, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to need to win this one, and I don't think we're going to be able to do that somehow. This is the only... Yeah, I mean, we have to keep win this to keep our hopes of the adventure alive at the moment. We are a long way down on points. I nearly rolled on the horrific bump. Come on. Come on, Volvo. <laughs> it's, it's, not gone, it's not gone well. I think, well, I think our Corvette missed a checkpoint or something. Uh, it certainly looked like something was going on with it parked up against a wall. It's not ideal. Yeah, it's all gone wrong for us. We've got to now try and fight with an Evo here. That's not so good. Uh, oh, I think it's just too heavy, I think is what kills my car's chances here. We're going to go to run on the exit. We're going to pass it. Yeah, we've got the power. We've got the power to repass on the run up the hill. And we're we'll back into fifth. It's, um, yeah, that's sometimes, you know, at the end of the day, fifth isn't exactly the worst thing in the world. We're not a completely useless car around here, but... <laughs> You still want better. Still always want better. Uh, oh, there goes the Evo. It's going to have a look up the inside. Um, I'm actually having the wrong gear for all of that as well. Probably doesn't help matters. Uh, <laughs> I can actually hear the Evo over my car at the moment. That's fun. Oh, did I get that? Please tell me we got that. It was really, that was really super, super close. I mean, I kind of have to. If I'm going to beat this Evo, I've got to... I've got to find myself close enough to it. I don't even think I can get close enough to it, you know. I think it's just too its too good in the, in the tight turns. Oh, we've got one more lap to go after this, although it's just had a horrible bobble. I've been there. I've done that crash myself uh, before. I've rolled cars on that horrible bobbly bit of curb, a bit of, bit of sort of dirt. Uh, I was going to try and have a look at the inside, but that's not going to work. The Evo slides now. I might be able, if I can punch it past towards turn one, it's still all kind of just trying to compromise the Evo at the moment. Uh, if I can get underneath it here, I'm not going to carry the speed all the way through the corner, but it's just make sure it can't quite turn in where it wants to. That's that's kind of what we're working on here. Compromise the Evo's lines enough, and if I can be close enough, then we might be able to give it some grief, but I don't think I can. Uh, we're going to try again, chuck it through here with as much speed as I dare. It's not quite going to work. Nah. <laughs> Not got an answer. Ah, oh, I was I was hopeful for another dirt round, and I might be able to showcase the Volvo strengths. Turns out it's not as good on the dirt as I had hoped it would be. Bugger and all that. 
Yeah, the Evo this time is neat and tidy. We're not actually that far down on the Maserati in terms of pace either, I don't think here. Sadly, blue team, this, this dirt circuit was a hell of a lot better for the blue team cars. As we round the final corner, there's a bump and it's a little bit wonky from me. But yeah, not quite, not quite. A sixth place would go the way of the Volvo. It's mid-pack. It's still second technically on red team. That's how badly it went for a red team around there. Uh, I mean, I'm still glad I went for the Volvo. Just, I hoped it might work a bit better there. So, for our final race, we've come to the Edinburgh Station Circuit. I'm probably not going to have much fun here, I'll be honest. Ooh, and I'm a long way back as well. Uh, it's going to be some work. I know we launch well. Uh, it's a street circuit. It's a fiddly street circuit. I guess one plus point I have over a lot of this field is I have the biggest and heaviest car here. Which means I might be least affected by street furniture. Look at that, we're going to find some positives. Yeah, the little classic race cars absolutely hate the street furniture around a track like this. So... That's something I have going for me. Uh, the likes of Ninetales' Rover probably won't work here. Um, in some regards, in a few regards, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be it's gonna be very quick on the chance it gets to a straight. However, um, it's going to be very, very unwieldy. I mean, the Volvo launches very well. As we've seen, there are a bunch of all-wheel drive cars here. I'm by no means the only one. And we really do launch our way up the field very, very nicely off of the start line. Uh, can I... Oh, get under. The Ferrari quite knew I was alongside. We're getting bopped by classic cars. Uh, <laughs> right, Volvo. I, I mean, unfortunately, we've already got Longbo's car directly behind us. That's not what we really want to have in their rearview mirror. Now, the Porsche is much further back. Ooh, some lag from further up. The Alpine has... Absolutely no top end, but I'm never going to be able to make that dive work. Uh, I don't have the brakes to do that. I won't have the handling. I won't outhandle the Alpine. I can just outrun it towards a corner. Um, right. Here we go. Carry some good speed on the exit through there, which we do. It's a funky line. I don't think I've ever gone over that part of the circuit, but we make it work. We are going to be slow on the exit, but it doesn't matter. I think I've got the, just the raw power in the Volvo to make that one stick. Right. Classic Ferraris. Fight with the French car. Uh, Nine Tails has lagged out. Uh, oh, we fought with a railing. We lost that fight. Alpine, you're going to go a long way round. Oh, on a Volvo. I found some railings in all of that. Oh, that's not the gear we wanted. Seconds doesn't quite work there. I had the standard gearbox in it because I forgot to change it and uh, ran out of PI. And <laughs> gearbox gear ratios aren't actually terrible in this. Uh, it's fine. We will just outrun the Alpine down here. Uh, the more we fight, this this kind of helps Danger Man run away. Sadly, none of our other cars are working at this track in the slightest. So that doesn't really help us all too much. Uh, get out of the way, lamppost. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just different cars pop in and out of view behind me in this currently, from Alpines to Ferraris. Oh, come on now. I mean, we've, the Alpine is about the only other modern car in the field. It's the, it's the only other car from relatively recently. This track's actually not going too bad for the Volvo, you know. Maybe it's kind of like the stop-start nature might work a little bit better for it. Uh, I generally quite like this track. I do think my street furniture clearing uh, advantage isn't actually all that bad. Uh, it really can, it really does make a difference around a track like this. Um, I like the street circuits, do not get me wrong. They are very annoying to deal with sometimes because of the street furniture that gets in the way of your car. And when you're the only one that can clear it with any sort of force, this does kind of give you a weird advantage that you might not consider normally. Uh, I wouldn't build a car specifically for that necessarily, but it is a helpful... Because Danger Man is basically Street Sweeper at the moment. Every bit of street furniture that's on a racing line, Danger Man clears out of the way because it gets respawned each lap. Uh, so I, A, don't often clear it, and B, if I do, it doesn't slow me down. We are actually catching Danger Man. It's a tiny bit. My bigger concern is the Ferrari that's catching me. Uh, oh, Danger Man had a big wobble. I brushed a fence, but it's fine for now. This might be a very, very tense final lap here. Uh, <laughs> this might be one hell of a battle. We've got some speed going on. I don't know why this car is working here, of all places. I think the Maserati's quite understeery, perhaps, and that's why it's struggling at these slower corners. 
Uh, whereas the Volvo, I mean, the Volvo is a bit understeery, but obviously not as bad as the Maserati. We beat the Ferrari down the straight. Uh, <laughs> what a weird battle we've got going on. Two unbelievably rare historic race cars and a Volvo estate car with an engine from a Mercedes, I think? 6.3 V8, I believe it's a Mercedes. I think it was 6.3, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a Volvo with a V8 against two Italian classics, possibly with V8s. Um, as you know, it'd be V12 with a Ferrari, wouldn't it? Unless it's been swapped, who knows. Um, Maserati might even be a straight something or other. Uh, we are going to shoot past that. It found some street furniture, and that is a sneaky little advantage from the Volvo. Come on, Volvo. You can do this. You can do this. Sneak our way around these next couple of corners we go. Oh, get stopped. No, lovely done. Just kind of park it on the apex. Oh, the Ferrari found a way up into second. That is going to have to battle because the Maserati is quick. We know that's quick down the straight. Maserati is in two second. I break nice and early. I'm just not going to mess up this final corner. Just park it on the apex. Game, don't screw me out of this one. We'll, we'll ignore it regardless if it doesn't give us. It does give it this, this time around. It's another. It's a first place. Only two of red cars scored points, but <laughs> we got a 1-2. That was a fantastic race. Bloody hell. That was a good race. That was a really good race. Danger Man got a little bit unlucky. I w the Volvo was genuine, legit quick around there. The Volvo was legitimately fast around that track, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> we might have lost the adventure, but I'm very, very glad my V60 did something relatively well. It did do something pretty well. In all of that, yeah, blue team do win overall. However, we had some fun. The Volvo was good. The Rover was ridiculous. Uh, we had some good battles against some very good... Porsche was very fast as well on the right circuit. I think if that gets stuck in traffic, it seemed to struggle. But there we go. That is going to be it for this video. If you'd like to sign up and take part in the next one of these, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Ferris versus the community section and you can sign up in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.